For centuries, the Egyptian civilization has baffled everyone with its impressive pyramids, temples, and tombs. But recent discoveries have shed new light on the mysteries of ancient Egypt. A secret tomb was recently discovered at the banks of the Nile, revealing new insights into the beliefs and practices of this ancient civilization. Join us as we explore the ancient world and uncover the secrets of the Egyptian civilization. The Tomb of Osiris Osiris, the god of the dead, the afterlife, and the underworld, was a central figure in ancient Egyptian religious beliefs and mythology. He is often depicted with bright emerald green skin, a pharaoh's beard, and wearing a crown adorned with two magnificent ostrich feathers. His legs are wrapped like a mummy, and he holds a crook and a flail, symbols of his kingship over the land. The tomb of Osiris was discovered during excavations in the Theban necropolis, an enormous combination of ancient tombs and temples located on the west bank of the Nile in the city of Luxor by a team of Spanish and Italian archaeologists led by Maria Alvarez Sosa of the Min Project. The tomb is thought to have been built in the style of Osiris's mythical tomb and dates back to either 760 to 656 BC or 672 to 525 BC, known as the 25th and 26th dynasties, respectively. The tomb was discovered in the Sheikh Abdul Karna, which has the most private tombs in the Theban necropolis complex and was used to bury the highest ranking officials, priests, and prominent people during the New Kingdom era. Some parts of the tomb were discovered by Felipe Vera in 1887, but they were never described or published. So the team led by Maria Alvarez Sosa were able to excavate the tomb using modern archaeological technologies. The team discovered several chambers and shafts, and the inscriptions and carvings inside the tomb revealed that it was designed in the style of Osiris's large tomb, which is a significant discovery for the scientific community. The significance of this discovery lies in the fact that it provides insight into ancient Egyptian religious beliefs and mythology, particularly concerning the god Osiris, and it allows scientists to learn more about the afterlife and the underworld in ancient Egyptian society. The tomb was discovered to be well-preserved, which is unusual given that most tombs from this period have been looted or destroyed. Inside the tomb, the intricate carvings in the art show the skill and craftsmanship of ancient Egyptian artisans and architects. The tomb itself was discovered to have been built in a unique style, unlike any other tomb from this era, which adds to the significance of the discovery. The discovery of Osiris' tomb has resulted in the development of new theories and hypotheses about ancient Egyptian religion and mythology. According to one theory, the tomb was used for religious rituals and ceremonies related to Osiris and the afterlife. The inscriptions and carvings inside of the tomb may also reveal information about the rituals and ceremonies that actually took place there. The Temple of Ramses II Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, was one of ancient Egypt's most powerful and celebrated pharaohs. He was the third pharaoh of the New Kingdom and reigned for 66 years during the 19th dynasty. He is well known for his military campaigns, monumental structure construction, and the role in the development of ancient Egyptian religion and culture. A team of Egyptian and Czech archaeologists recently made a significant discovery of Ramses II's lost temple in the village of Abu Sir, southwest of Cairo. The temple is thought to have been near the famous Saqqara Steppe Pyramid, and it is the only evidence that Ramses II was present in the Bedrussian area of Giza, which is part of Greater Cairo. According to the Czech team's leader Miroslav Barter, the discovery confirmed the continued worship of the sun god Ra in Abu Sir, which began in the 5th dynasty over 4,500 years ago. The temple's dimensions are estimated to be 105 feet by 167 feet, with mud brick foundations. Archaeologists also discovered a pylon, or monumental gateway, as well as the remains of a large forecourt leading to a hall of pillars, some of which were painted blue. The temple also has a staircase, or a ramp, leading to a sanctuary. The sanctuary's interior was divided into three parallel chambers, and archaeologists discovered that the temple was once decorated with colorful paintings, but it is now covered with sand and stone fragments. The Ancient Hieroglyphs Hieroglyphs are an ancient Egyptian writing style that combines logographic and alphabetic symbols. The term hieroglyph is derived from the Greek words hieros, which means sacred, 
and glypho, which means writing or inscriptions. They were usually written on stone or metal and were used for monumental inscriptions, like tomb walls, temples, and statues. A team of scientists and archaeologists from Yale and the Royal Museum of Art and History in Belgium recently discovered some hieroglyphs in Egypt that are around 21.7 inches tall and date back to around 5,200 years ago. The discovery of these hieroglyphs is significant not only because of their size, but also because it sheds light onto the origins of hieroglyphic writing and the early use of the written word in ancient Egypt. Scientists and archaeologists are surprised by the size of the hieroglyphs because other hieroglyphs discovered in the past are frequently less than an inch in height. However, these newly discovered hieroglyphs appear to have been written to be seen at a considerable distance, suggesting that the ancient Egyptians were using hieroglyphs on a monumental scale from the earliest times. The hieroglyphs discovered at El Cab are also significant because they are similar to Egypt's earliest known hieroglyphs. The similarity of the sign arrangement at El Cab to other solar cycle representations support the theory that the hieroglyphs depict the concept of royal authority over the cosmos. The large size of the hieroglyphs also suggests that the hieroglyphic writing was widely used in ancient Egypt. The use of advanced technology enabled the discovery of these hieroglyphs. The team of scientists and archaeologists mapped the ancient roads in El Cab and discovered the locations of the hieroglyphs using new recording techniques developed at Yale. The team's technology also enabled them to examine the hieroglyphs in greater detail and conduct chemical analyses to determine their age and possible meanings. Queen Nefertari's Tomb As the great royal wife of Pharaoh Ramses II, Queen Nefertari was a powerful and prominent figure in ancient Egyptian history. She was well known in Egyptian legends for her beauty and her ability to wield quiet power behind the throne. Her tomb, located in the Valley of the Queens, was famous for the intricate and beautiful paintings that adorned its walls. The discovery of this tomb, however, was not without complications. The tomb was discovered in 1904 by archaeologist Ernesto Schiaparelli, but it had been heavily looted by grave robbers. Only a pair of sandals and some leg bones were discovered inside. This looting not only left the tomb desolate, but it also raised concerns about the identity of the remains. To determine the identity of the bones, scientists and archaeologists used a variety of techniques, including x-ray analysis, radiocarbon dating, and chemical analysis. The analysis revealed that the bones belonged to a woman who was about 5 feet 4 inches tall and likely died between the ages of 40 and 60. They also discovered evidence of mild arthritis. Based on these discoveries, scientists and archaeologists concluded that the remains belonged to Queen Nefertari. However, it is impossible to say for certain due to the looting of the tomb and the subsequent damage to the remains. The Screaming Mummy One of the most shocking discoveries in Egypt was the mummy that appeared to be screaming. Upon its discovery during an excavation, archaeologists were stunned to see the long-dead Egyptian face, distorted in anguish, appearing to be silently screaming. The scientific community was captivated by this one-of-a-kind discovery, eager to learn how and why the mummy died in such agony. The mystery of the screaming mummy became a topic of much speculation and theory, as experts worked to uncover the truth behind this intriguing discovery. According to one popular theory, the mummy was Prince Pentawir, the son of Pharaoh Ramses III. According to ancient Egyptian records, the prince attempted to assassinate his father and seize the throne, but was unsuccessful. He was then put on trial and sentenced to death. Another theory proposed by Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, Dr. Zahi Hawass, is that the mummy was a prince who brought shame to his family. He speculates that the mummy was buried alongside other royals but was wrapped in sheepskin, which in ancient Egypt was a sign that the person was not pure, possibly due to a bad act. This discovery is surprising because it's a rare find. The majority of the mummies discovered were clean with no signs of foul play. This mystery of the screaming mummy indicates that something unfathomable must have happened to the prince. Although the theories surrounding its death are numerous, the true case remains a mystery. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.